Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another exciting video of SnowRunner. Hey, you can see we have the collab 74941. Let's deploy this and let's just go customize and let's see what add ons we can add here. Uh, okay, snorkel, lock, 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 and air filter. Hmm. Oh, okay, forget the add ons. Let's just leave here. As you can see, we're doing the drill rig disassembly, which uh, deliver deliver to port port is right here in the uh, mountain valley and we have to go sorry we have to go to the mountain valley this is the north port so let's just take our slow moving call wall call up 747 7976543211 call up phone number and let's go and let's just go as fast as we can with the sleepy pace this truck has. Oh, fillets. Put the four wheel drive on and let's see if this thing can go any faster. Nope. 10 kilometers per hour still. Come on, you big. <laughs> let's just go, 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 go. Switch to morning because I am just sick and tired of this game running in the night all the time every time every time i start the game i either start in the evening or i start late afternoon and by the time i go to my mission to start it it's always dark it's always dark so thankfully they have a time toggle button and if you don't know it you go to the map if you're on the pc version you press m for the map and then you press t to toggle time so the toggle is the evening night morning and afternoon the best thing is always just toggle it to morning so it goes to the afternoon and the evening so that way you have maximum light now sometimes it's all right to drive in the night you know sometimes it's okay just to uh, also get the feel of the game because if you're always driving in the morning then you know why did they put the time cycle so through this river huh, that was very easy onto that little rock and then through here and yes sir we are here mountain valley oh rock get out of my way rock mountain river why do i keep calling it mountain valley anyway here and we need to be going towards should i take this route and then up or should i just go straight and then right. Hmm. Now let's just go straight and right. Otherwise, I need to repair the bridge. And I did not bring materials with me. So the club phone number goes straight with the all wheel drives on. Cabin view is pretty simple. It's just basic plastic. I think that what they were focusing on is how the truck handles and how much power they can put in instead of what what the cabin looks like or what the truck in general looks like i don't like the big nose it has in front what the what is this okay okay hmm so this pipeline we need to repair before we can come through hmm. luckily i have a truck I have a truck right here so let's just find the pipeline thing first pipeline repair okay metal beams from here and they need to be pedro no 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 not pedro bay this one so should we drilling supply service or purchase cargo supply no 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 uh Oil delivery, more pass, drilling spare parts, no, mountain pipeline, oh yes, mm -hmm. 2x metal beams, which is right there where I am, and then small pipe, and medium pipe, and service parts, the so service parts are here at the station, uh, hmm. everything is right here only. So let's just start this. Let's switch to my 
Tiger. As you guys can remember from the last video, we came here to sell the service trailer. No, first of all, I need to repair and refuel this. That is my maintenance trailer. Thank you, sir. Bouncy maintenance trailer. Refuel first of all. Take our refuel. Yes. And then repair. And take our repair. It was al already repaired, but anyway. So that's how you can service and repair your truck for free if you're not near the garage. Next thing we want a semi. Yep, yep, yep. And first things first, we're going to take the metal beams from right here and deliver it to the pipe. Metal beam, sir. Thank you. How many metal beams? We need two. Oh my god. Okay, so that's full trailer. Hmm. Let's just reverse this thing and see if I can go there without flipping my cargo. It's simple as right there. Hmm. I think I could have done this with the Hummer or the CK-150, whatever that scout thing is. Such a small way. And here we are, sir. Cargo management. Mounted by blind building, there you are, there you have you, you have two metal planks. And then I have to go here for Oh it got it has the small pipe and the medium pipe, both are here. Cool, cool, cool. And then it's got cement, then it's got something else. Huh. And then I have here is spare parts. Service spare parts, I think. And there's a route, there's a route. I can cut right across. I can. I yes sir. And then we're going to go here and just put the pointer here so I don't get lost. Put the handbrakes off. Reverse the Tiger. Come on, baby. Reversing. And then off we go. Through the snow. With the snow tires. No problem. Through the mud. With the snow tires. Still no problem. No problem because there isn't anything in the semi. Otherwise it would have been a challenge. So, here we are to this uh, warehouse, I think. Yeah, medium pipe. Oh my god, two spaces for medium pipe. What the hell is happening? Okay, hammocks on. Medium pipe takes two spaces. Okay, small pipe also takes two spaces. Hmm. And then I'm left with 2x service spare parts. So I'm gonna go here and then take a left and deliver this to the pipe and then go all the way up and over and then to the service hub and then come here where this clock is. So then I'll complete the the pipeline. I was gonna I was about to say timeline. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go through the snow here. Otherwise, what's the point of having snow tires? Getting my money's worth. And go straight and straight and all the way straight. And you know what? I have a crane. So I can load one cargo and then I can put one cargo on the crane. And I can bring six. So that will save me one trip to the service hub. And why not? I mean, it's, it's not going to be the first time that we, we will tip our cargo over. So, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's just see. Here we are to the service station. Truck fully repaired. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Service spare part is what we need, sir. Bam. Not enough space. I know. So, I'm going to load this one manually. And how do I place it? Oh, it's already there. Okay. Okay, out and then to crane mode. The crane mode. And then come here and then. Okay. Yep. Attach my cargo, please. This is ridiculous. There it is. 
how do I pull this thing up? C to left over R to left. Crane movement winch. Okay. 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 Seems to be working. Seems to be working. And I'm going to place it over the metal pipe if I can. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Now, instead of just putting it there, why not just secure it with my crane like that? So that way it won't go anywhere. So now I have six pieces loaded onto my semi which can carry five. That was intelligent. That is what is called cargo management. by by cargo management. Load six cargoes in a space of five. Mm -hmm. And then here where the club is standing. And hello club. Whoa, 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 what the f whoa, what? How is this thing moving? My truck is haunted. Oh my god. Chills down my spine. Haunted truck. Hmm. Okay. You need one X, uh, what? Hold on. Take this first and then take that and then I have a neat trick. So I go to here and then unpack cargo and then pack cargo and bam, it's done. Thank you sir, go to cargo management, there you have two. And pipeline is operational, thank you so much. Restore this tube head crane and then move it out. Nope, the collab won't let me go. The phone number is stopping me. Okay, so just change, change to go, go, go. collab 74759653321. And let's just go. What? This is taking damage from cardboard. Cardboard, uh, whatever these things are called. Stupid. Hmm. Before I forget, I'm just gonna drive here, drive inside, and sell the trailer. Because that's important. That was my money invested in the trailer. I'm not going to lose it. And then the collab. Now as you guys remember from the last video. I think it was the last one. We saw a oil rig that was parked there when you were getting the service trailer. And I like these, these big oil rigs. The... These missions are fun. These missions are... I feel like these missions are the actual snow runner missions. You know? Where you have to plan it. Where you have to drive slow. Where you... Uh, you where, where when things go wrong, you have to start again. So like that. So we are here with the high saddle attachment. And this trailer needs a high saddle. I think... I think... Does it? Attach trailer, please. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it needs a high saddle attachment, yeehaw! And then the collab is on its way. This should be a fairly simple drive. It's all on road. Nothing like the previous oil rig. Where you got stuck in mud, where we almost flipped it over. I think we delivered one, uh, one uh, construction heavy cargo. I think with the P16 and that almost got flipped over. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. We got it stuck and then the collab phone number came and rescued it. That was back uh, Smithville Dam that was. Hmm. Where the BM was parked wrong and then I had to change the route and... Oh, nice. Hello. That's a nice view. Maybe a thumbnail? Not sure. Hmm. So the collab is going. Uh, you know what? I have just realized something. And while I am going to uh, North Port, I may need my Tega. Hmm. Why, because why would I come back for the Tega and drive it back? Instead, 
I'm just going to winch it behind the club and just take it there. Leave it in the North Port if I need it. Hmm. So yeah, onto the club. Please attach my truck. Thank you. My close functions. I hate this. And then slowly, slowly back. Whoa, 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 whoa. More slowly back. Stupid. More slowly. Don't go over the cliff. Anyway, I'm annoyed with you for driving so slow. 10 kilometers per hour. But it's got an impressive pulling power. So we're... Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We are here. Finally, finally. Where is my digger? Oh, it's parked inside me. Hmm. How did that happen? Hmm. There it is, there it is. It's parked inside me. And it's in ghost mode. Yeah, haunted truck and ghost mode. Two creepy things. So I'm going to go ahead with it and take this thing to where it should go. And then there it is. It's stuck again. Hmm. Doing a wider turn. Maybe that will help. A wider turn over here as well. Oh, that was close. And the rig is dangling in the background. I am not going to turn the camera around to see it. Okay. And there we are on the road again. Yay! Through the little pond thing, the stream passing through the road, or the road passing through the stream. Same thing. And then here and through and through and through to the port. All the way to the port. This is fairly simple. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And then here we have to take a right. Yep, a bit of a wide right. Because otherwise that trailer tends to tip over. And I've got 8x8 for no no reason if I can't drive off-road. I think I'm just going to park it so my Tager can come through. Yep. First, let me just get this rock slide thing. Yep, what do you need? Metal beams one. Okay, I sold the trailer. I should have kept it. Okay, so here is the metal beam and here is the trailer store as well. So let me get my Tega. Where is it? There it is. Come on, Tega. We are going to buy another trailer and we're going to put a metal beam on it and we're going to clear the road for the club. So that is the job for the Tega. It is actually a secondary truck that is required to cover this oil rig thing. Since you have to repair your way along as you go. So yeah, Tega is doing a pretty good job. So far so good. Through the mud, through the trailer store, to the trailer store. There we are. And just in the nick of time. Yay! So the cargo first. Yes. And just on the edge of this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm just going to take a smaller trailer this time. Hmm. Yeah. 2x cargo. Should be alright because all we need is one metal beam. And that takes two places. Two cargo holes actually. Mm-hmm. Load metal beams. Yes, sir. Not enough space. It's okay. I only need one. Thank you. And then we are going to repair the bridge for the phone number. So it can go through. Because it's going to take that important drill rig, whatever that thing is, to the port. And then we're going to send it somewhere and get a lot of money out of it. That's how economics work, I think. And then straight and then down and <clears throat> the rest is simple.
So, so here is the right that we want to take through the little watery thing. That's the sound your tires make when you cross the stream or a pond of water. Not exactly a pond, a puddle of water. Wonder crossing ponds of water. <laughs> so here we are to the club. Hello, phone number. Let me repair the way for you. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, oh my god. I almost ran into the. I did run into the mountain there. So here we are. Please get these uh, rocks off. I'm not sure how they wanted to. How the rocks got lifted with the middle beams. Nobody's doing anything. Anyway, let's park it out of the way. This is. This is. This looks good. And we are here again. Bags on ice. Cement delivered to house. Cement into four. And we're going to take this oil rig. Although we are doing the bags on ice. That's what happens when you play a game and you're sleepy. But thankfully this glob drives so slow that even if I doze off, it's not going to hit anything. By the time I wake up, it will be just there. And it's taking damage from cardboard roadblocks. No comments there. So yeah, let's just change the mission to what we were doing and then all the way down and there. So yeah, Glob. Switch to morning so I can see where I'm going and so that the Glob can drive on road where it can take damage from pebbles and run over fallen trees and do nothing. That is fun. Drive through the garage mm -hmm. in six and a half years and then go over the rail and then continue onwards on the icy road. Go on, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. Still going. Still going. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. So it takes a lot of time, even while you're driving on a straight road. And I have to go still. Forward still. Still. Slowly, slowly, slowly. It's alright, Club. We have to reach there today. Okay? Today would be good. Oh, just missed the pebble. And through here. And this is where the mishap happened. I don't know what I did. But I have lost the ending of this video. Hmm. I think I was recording it and then I fell asleep. And then I paused the recording and then I came back. And I didn't switch the recording back on. Uh... I don't know what happened. I was sleepy. So, uh, I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to. Uh, I am going to complete this mission. Get a, get a load of XP. Some dollars. And yeah. But yeah. I think this video is going to end now. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Also in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to play next. And as always. I'll see you in the next one.